starting to think about summer crops across Oklahoma and we have Brian and all here to talk about planting dates for insurance reasons. And Brian, we're actually standing in a cornfield and we're past the planting date for insured corn crops right now. Yeah, we're past uh, insurance date for the corn crop, but we aren't past insurance date for soybean, sorghum, sesame, and cotton production. But we are, I'm gonna start with sorghum, we are kind of in that no man's land right. for sorghum. We can plant and there will be people planting sorghum throughout the month of May, but this is the time if you put sorghum seed in the ground, there's a higher risk because more than likely it's going to flower during the hottest and driest part of the month. Mm -hmm. So ideally we'd like to see sorghum go in before May or after May. Okay. Unfortunately with our weather this year, it's been wet in areas, it's been cool. Uh, so it, it's kept a lot of the planters out of the ground and uh, guys are wondering what to do right now. Okay, and, and kind of the end of the uh, sorghum season would be closer to June. Yeah, you'd actually go back into the ground in June. Right. We stay away from May right. and get in for late planted sorghum back into June and even the double crops after the wheat's out of the ground. You know, it will be an option for any of that acreage where wheat had to be cut due to freeze damage damage or hail damage to go in with a sorghum crop. But right now OSU's recommendation is avoid planting during May, wait till the very first part of June, even the last couple days of May before you put that seed in the ground. Okay, let's talk sesame. What are we looking at there? Sesame uh, has an optimum date of mid-May to plant. So we're still in great shape to put sesame in the ground uh, all the way up to about the first or second week of June. Mm -hmm. And then you go into a double crop sit situation also with sesame. Cotton production has very similar time frame. The ideal planting date for cotton in central Oklahoma is going to be middle of May. So we have plenty of time to get our cotton in the ground, but we're still behind the eight ball as far as some people may say, just due to our soil temperatures and uh, have to miss those rains. Okay, and, and then of course soybeans. Let's talk soybeans. Soybean, you know, I talked to Chad Godsey to, to confirm planting date on soybeans. He says right now if you choose the right maturity group, mm -hmm. we can put soybean in the ground until the 1st of June. Uh, then you start looking at those quick varieties, those laid out, uh, that come out quicker uh, for the double crop planting situation. So the full season uh, go to about the 1st of June, but we have to be care careful with maturity date. Okay, now where, where should producers go to to confirm those? dates? You know, uh, there's uh, the oilseed.okstate.edu has a great publication about soybean uh, production. It's just the soybean production hand guide. There's also a very good sorghum production guide that can be uh, available at your county extension office. If they don't have one, we can mail them to them to make sure those are available. And of course, when it comes to insurance dates, look at your RMA website uh, to make sure you know the, the last planting date for your crop that you want to put in the ground. Okay, Brian and all, thank you very much. And you can check out more information about those websites on our website, sunup.okstate.edu.